What's up? My name's Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix the Steam API 64.dll error that you could be getting when you're trying to launch up Resident Evil Village. To fix this issue, open up Steam, navigate across to Resident Evil Village, right click the game, hover over manage and then click browse local files. What we're going to do in here is simply right click re8.exe and click run as administrator to launch the game as admin. At this point, it should boot up and work properly. If it did work properly all of a sudden, simply click the properties button at the very bottom, head over to the compatibility tab and make sure that run this program as an administrator is checked, click apply and OK to always launch the game in administrator mode. This means that if you had the issue and it was solved, it'll now be permanently solved. Speaking of files in this folder, you probably noticed the DLL causing issues in question. Steam API 64.dll. What you can do if you're still receiving errors at this point is delete this file out of here, open up Steam, navigate across to the game, right click properties, click on local files, and then verify integrity of game files. This will run through all of the files on your computer. It'll notice that this file over here is missing and it'll simply replace it with a fresh version right off the Steam servers. At this point, your game should definitely be working properly. However, if you're still receiving issues, it could have something to do with the Steam overlay or Steam not working properly. If you're comfortable with testing whether it's your overlay, simply right click the game, properties, and right over here, what we're going to look for is enable the Steam overlay while in game. Uncheck this and then close it and try to launch up the game. If it works properly, it's the Steam overlay causing issues, though it might not be that. If it wasn't that, you can go ahead and re-enable it, right click properties, enable the Steam overlay while in game and close out of this. It could be an issue with Steam itself. Simply close out of Steam completely and then open it up once again. Every time you open up Steam, it should do a self check to make sure that all of the Steam files are working properly. Otherwise, a simple reboot will suffice restarting Steam completely, making sure that nothing's left over. However, if you're still receiving issues, try and download Steam once again. No, not the game itself, but rather Steam from Steam's official website. Run the installer and it'll probably prompt you that it's already installed. There should be an option to install it again or repair it and after running a repair of Steam, things should be working properly. Though as I mentioned previously, Steam repairing itself is something that happens every time you launch up Steam, so that probably is an extra step that you won't really need. At this point, you've more than likely fixed your issue by simply deleting and replacing that Steam API DLL by verifying the game earlier. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Technobe here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!